Hey, this is Zevlet from TSM, and this is my basic champ guide to Caitlyn. Caitlyn's actually a pretty big monster in solo queue right now because she's so lane dominant. Like, they didn't really change her big strength, and that is controlling the wave by pushing them in and then poking them with your high range. And because of that, she's actually really strong in solo queue, and the only weakness she has is getting ganked. Um, they did nerf her E a little bit and shaved some of the distance that you travel with it, but that's totally okay because, I mean, you have so many more trinket wards than you did before and you have a lot more traps as well. So you should be able to bully lane, and out of that, just try to snowball and play safe. Like, the worst thing you can do on Caitlyn is die after getting a lead. So just play safe and play smart, and just sieging towers is the easiest way to win solo queue. Like I said, Caitlyn's biggest strength is her laning, so you want to just constantly be pushing them in. That's the number one key. Uh, people will tend to have a harder time last hitting under pressure when the tower is hitting them. Also, when they're under tower, you have full vision of the support and AD. It's a lot harder to get hooked or jump from the brush. Um, once they're trying to CS under tower, you should also be able to poke them with your high auto attack range. And it's just really straightforward. Once you get the push, you look for harass. Um, also, once you get the push, you can go look for like deep wards or just you know go run with your support to go siege mid. There's like a lot of options that you have. And um, if you're getting ganked a lot, try to put traps in the brushes instead of in the middle of the lane. And then once the you know jungler walks into the brush to try to gank you, then you'll have vision of him. In team fights, Caitlyn actually sucks at cleaning up, so you want to just co completely focus on attacking the front line. You do have high range, so you can't hit the back line, but she is super vulnerable, so you basically just want to attack front line until you see an opening to use your ulti to f like finish off a kill. Um, also, the big thing that you should look for as well is ulting before the team fight to potentially chunk out a squishy like the enemy mid laner or AD carry. Um, if you can't do that, that's fine. Like, her ulti is just a cleanup tool, and it's just really easy to play team fights now with Caitlyn. I mean, with Runons, you'll be headshotting every second auto, and then between autos, you can now put down like a million traps. Um, her team fighting got buffed pretty tremendously since the patch, so it should be just super easy to just spam traps and spam auto attacks until the enemy team is dead. Caitlyn can synergize with pretty much every support which sounds really stupid but like if you play with melees you can potentially all in and if you play with range champions then you can poke harder so it really just depends on like i guess what your team comp needs but that's kind of useless for solo queue because people don't really typically think about team comp um just know that like no matter what support you have even if it's kind of like a troll pick like support brand you can make it work i mean caitlin has a lot of potential to win all ins because she got a huge buff in that regard and she also is just normally a poking champion so it doesn't really matter what your support is because you control the lane yourself one of the things you can do on caitlin now is instead of using an eq combo you can just simply walk up to them use your net and then auto attack them for a lot of damage um, this is because hitting someone with your e initiates your ability to headshot and that does a ton of damage, way more than it did before. So when you're training in lane, it's a lot easier and people have expected it more often now to dodge the EQ combo, but it's really hard for someone to outplay a net into an empowered auto attack. So that's one thing that you can do. The second tip that I have is when somebody CCs one of your opponents, you can always end up trapping them out of it. So for example, if Leona hits an ulti, you can just put a trap right under their feet and they'll get um, rooted for you know the one and a half second duration. And that's just such a powerful tool, especially since now Caitlyn has so much more traps than she does before. Um, anytime someone CC, look for the trap under their feet. It just chains the CC out of it, it gives you free damage with headshot, and it's just super annoying to deal with. So for runes, I use basically the same page on every AD. Uh, attack speed quints for last hitting and higher damage per second. Uh, AD reds for essentially the same thing, and then armor yellows. And blues are completely up to you. If they have no magic damage, you can go CDR per level. If they do have magic damage, it's best to go flat MR. And for masteries, I typically go attack speed because the other option is horrible for ADs. Uh, feast over double-edged sword because double-edged sword can potentially lose you the game as well as it can win you the game and I prefer a higher consistency. Uh, also vampirism instead of natural talent. Uh, natural talent actually really sucks mathematically like at level 18 it doesn't give you nearly as much AD as it did before. Uh, I go Bounty Hunter for essentially solo queue, you'll be able to get more kills than in a competitive game where you're probably limited to like only a couple options. Uh, Battering Blows because you don't do magic damage, you do physical damage. And then lastly, Warlord's Bloodlust because you'll be rushing IE. Usually ADs tend to go cutting, so they'll do 18-12-0, but I go 18-0-12 because I believe in extra combat stats. So I'll do 
recovery for laning and then tough skin also for laning uh, and then veteran scars because you typically don't have any extra sh shields or healing when you're running a team comp with Caitlyn but this is completely up to you actually and then insight for summoner spell CD. The big thing that changed since the 5.22 patch is your scaling order. You always max Q first but then Previously you would have maxed net, now you max traps because you can put down 5 traps at rank 5. And maxing net has been nerfed pretty significantly, so you max Q, it's your basic nuke, and then you max W, and lastly you max E, and you just put points in your ulti whenever you can. So also since the 5.22 patch, there's not a cookie cutter item build past like 2 or 3 items. And because of that I'm just going to talk about like the basic first 2 items, and then the rest of the items that you can go depending on the situation. Um, pretty much always be going for IE into Runons. So once you get those, your headshot will be proccing every two or three autos. And that's the reason why Runons is better than the other uh, attack speed crit items. Um, after that, you can go, you know, the Last Whisper equivalent, which is now called Lord Dominic's Regards. Or you can go BT if you need sort of ability, or you can go Mercurial if they have a lot of magic damage. Um, but it's really just up to you. You can even go a second crit item if you have like a Janna on your team that increases your AD and then you just want to crit more. Um, since the new patch, there's just so many options. You want to stray away though from like the weird items. Um, a lot of AD carries, they go Death Stance and that item kind of sucks. But um, yeah, essentially between Lord Dominic's Regards, uh, Bloodthirster, Mercurial Scimitar, you should be choosing between one of these three. Thanks for watching my guide on Caitlyn and check out more content like this at lawclass.com.